He said, oh, you're my hotel. You're the first one that made it. I said, yes. He said, ma'am, let me tell you. He said, <laughs> in those days, he said, I was standing on the street corners, you know, like in Chicago, and uh, trying to sing. And he'd have his little hat, you know, down on the street. And just stand up there singing, see, for, and hoping people would put pennies and things in there, uh, nickel or dime, whatever. And uh, he wasn't getting anywhere with it. And so he, he said he went in some place and got a, a newspaper and some matches and came out. And he's just standing on the corner and he throwing paper down. He liked the match of the paper and the paper fires all down here. And this drew attention. And as soon as he got a cry, I don't want to set the world on fire. <laughs> uh, in Kansas City, they say Myra Taylor, jazz singer. I say Myra Taylor, swing singer, you know. And um, uh, they said, but you sing jazz. And I said, no, I don't. And they said, if you improvise, you're singing jazz, you know. So I said, well, then, OK, I'm a, all right, I'm singing jazz. But to me, I, I, I don't call what I sing, you know, uh, jazz. But I, I think, um, I don't know, uh, when I go, let me tell you, I hear some of the greatest singing in the world in a church. Yeah, you bet. They have some of the most beautiful voices, and I, I will sit there and listen to them and wonder, why aren't you making records? You know, because they, they sing so beautifully, and they have the songs. Where, where they come up with those songs, I don't know. But they really sound good yeah. to me, and I could just listen to them all day.